So what we have in this problem is a metallic hoop over here which has a mass m and a radius r and we have another metallic structure which is square with each side equal to r and each of the bars in this has a mass m and this bar you see is almost aligned to the rotation axis which is this and it is very thin. So the question is if the time period of revolution is 2.5 seconds, radius is 0.5 meters, m is 2 kilograms, what is the moment of inertia of the system about the axis of rotation? So how we'll approach this problem is that we'll find the moment of inertia of each part of both the hoop and the square about the rotation axis. So first we'll find i for this, then we'll find the i value for this bar, then we'll find the i value for this bar, and then we'll find the i value for this bar and this bar, which should be the same. So let's go ahead and first find the moment of inertia of this hoop about this axis. So we know if the rotation axis was this instead of this, we can see from the tables that i value would have been equal to half mr square. And now since the axis of rotation has been shifted by a distance h, which is equal to r, we know through parallel axis theorem, we just need to add m into r squared. Recall the formula which says that the moment of inertia of a body about any axis is equal to the moment of inertia of the body about the center of the mass plus the product of mass and the distance of the new axis, rather the perpendicular distance of the new axis from the axis of rotation passing through the center of the mass. So we get to know that I of this hoop is equal to 3 by 2 m r squared. So this takes care of the I value of this hoop. Now let's go ahead and find the I value of this bar. Now while it doesn't look like in this diagram that the bar is on the axis of rotation but it's given in the problem that this bar is on the axis of rotation and it's very thin which therefore means that its I value will be zero. So let's call this I1 then I2 which is for this bar would be zero because this the entire mass is distributed on the axis of rotation, therefore the I value will be zero. Now let's go ahead and find the I value for this bar. Now imagine if this bar was rotating above the center of axis, it was not here, but it was over here, the I value would have been zero. Now just see, or just kind of manipulate the situation to say that this bar has been moved from here to here. And therefore we can apply the parallel axis theorem and we'll say that i value is equal to 0 plus m into the distance by which it has been moved from the axis of rotation which was earlier passing through the center of mass. So we know it's been moved by a distance r so its i value therefore is equal to m r square and let's term this as 3 i 3. So this equals m r square. Now what we have to do is find the moment of inertia of this bar and if you find it for this bar, this bar would have the same moment of inertia. So once again what we'll do is, we'll make use of the parallel axis theorem and we know that if this rod, if this rod had its axis of rotation passing right through the center, its I value would have been 1 12th of m r square. But now what's happened is that the axis of rotation is actually shifted in this direction. So we'll add m into the distance by which it has shifted and the distance by which it has shifted is r by 2 and we square this. And what we get is this equals 1 third m r square. And this would also be the value of the fifth rod which is equal to one third m r square. So let's go ahead and label i1, i2, i3, i4 and i5 over here. So i1 pertains to this hoop, i2 pertains to this rod, i3 pertains to this rod and this is i4 and this is i5. So if you add up all the moment of inertia of each of the component of this contraption you have, what you get is i is equal to i1 
plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 plus I5. And this would equal to 19 by 6 m r square. And if you substitute the value of mass and radius, what you'll get is this equals 1.6 kilogram meter square. Now, the next question is, so this is part A of the problem. Part B of the problem is, what is the angular momentum of this system about the axis of rotation? So we know that omega is equal to delta theta upon delta t. And this is therefore equal to 2 pi upon 2.5 seconds because one revolution is happening in 2.5 seconds and one revolution is nothing over here but 2 pi radians. And this equals therefore 2.5 radians per second. And we know that the moment of inertia of a system is equal to the product of moment of inertia and its angular velocity about the axis of rotation. In fact, both these components are about the axis of rotation. And we found the value of I as 1.6. They found the value of omega as 2.5. And this, therefore, equals 4 kilograms meters square per second.